Namaste, this is Mekla here from Pooja's.in. In today's video, I'd like to share my experience with different clients of mine who have had uh, problems related to their eyes or vision, I can say, and who have sought some help uh, for a spiritual remedy, like say a puja or some kind of a seva, uh, which has really helped them gain back their lost vision. Uh, whether it is something to do with their retina or cornea or cataract, something as simple as cataract, it has really helped them improve their vision to a great extent. People who don't even know what the complication is, for example, uh, you know, the doctor would say something, but it, they don't understand it. They just want their vision back and they are like, you know, can you do something about it? We have really been an instrument of God in this particular Mm, sphere where people are facing problems of all kinds and God is really great you know that through us uh, we are able to bring out a lot of solutions the divine is able to bring out a lot of solutions to people's problems I was triggered to do this video recently because um, one of my clients only asked me what are the options I have to improve my vision and that's when I remember why not make a video because you know it will really um, help more people with this kind of a problem at least he was forthcoming to ask and then we uh, gave him a solution with divine grace but uh, you know what about people who don't even know what you know something like this will exist that there is a solution other than a doctor or along with the doctor or they can have hopes of getting back their vision uh, for whatever reasons they have lost so uh, in today's video I'd like to address all those people whether you ask or you don't ask there is a solution and here is the solution so first thing first uh, what we do is we have uh, a seva opportunity at Mata Nena Devi Shrine uh, this is in Himachal Pradesh so one thing is that you could directly approach the temple uh, talk to them and uh, tell them that you have this problem and uh, the normal faith and belief there is that if you have any problems related to your vision eyesight you donate a pair of silver eyes or golden eyes depending on your financial position and your affordability um, we say yogita more than that yogita means the ability to do it as seva and the willingness the fourth how forthcoming are you those kind of feelings how much do you want to really do for yourself you know towards divinity so if you have any of those intense feelings that yes i would like to do the seva to mother and really pray to her that she blesses me with a very good vision and I get my eyesight restored back then please go ahead you can even call them directly and you can do it yourself otherwise if you feel it's too much of a hassle and you are not able to make that kind of an effort to call the temple and ask you want us to do it we will definitely be very much willing to do it so there are three options one is the silver pair of eyes the second one is the golden pair of eyes and the third one is again golden but a slightly bigger pair of eyes so we have these three categories so what we typically do in this is we actually write to the temple on your behalf stating what your problem is as if you know uh, you would write to your own mother uh, your biological mother and tell her ma and you're somewhere else so you would say things like ma i'm facing this kind of a problem i'm not able to see these are the difficulties i'm facing so please bless me uh, you're the only one who can really restore me my vision back and I want to see normal I want to be normal like that you know whatever mistakes I have done uh, in my life in this life or previous lives uh, you know, please pardon me you bless me I really apologize from the bottom of my heart from the bottom of my heart from the core of my heart um, I may have made a mistake for which I'm being punished but um, I would wish to apologize and apologize is a very shallow word the price chit and paschatap we say um, those are the right words i would like to do that uh, uh, please help me get out of this mess and have a clear vision in my life so this kind of a prayer we uh, write on your behalf so you'll have to tell us what exactly is your problem so accordingly we draft it and you just pray from wherever you are and then uh, we will buy the golden eyes from the jeweler we get it done especially for nana deviji and uh, we send it to them and then they acknowledge and they give back the prasad they do the prayers on our behalf that is on the behalf of the client so this is one thing which happens and then it's like we mediate between you and the divine mother through this kind of a prayer okay that is one thing that we do now the second option is we also do chakshu shoparishad uh, homa or havan and 
and we do jap also now this is another thing where you know in the mantra itself you can make out that is it was written by a rishi and um he goes on to say uh, oh surya bhagwan please grant me very good vision whatever sins i have committed in the past let that be absolved and let me be restored back with my uh, vision so and me my family members in fact the palashruti goes on to say that nobody in your family will ever ever be blind because you as a person as an individual representing the family is getting this done or performing this job okay so it's a very powerful chant and it's a very nice chant you know when you're reading it yourself also you'll feel very good reading it because you'll feel like wow uh, it's not so difficult and you can chant this every day and uh, as you go on chanting it it's a wonderful experience to chant it starts like chakshu 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 tejas tiro bhava mam pahi pahi tvaritan chakshu roga like that you know it goes on so it's like um, all the chakshu roga should go and whatever is the reason for me suffering should go i should be restored back with clear vision it's a very very beautiful chant and we do jap of that so it, it depends now we don't have a a package kind of a thing where we would say we do uh, 11 days 12 days not like that because depending on your eye problem the intensity of your vision problem we will decide accordingly how much effort minimum effort we really need to put for you to have a restored vision back or have your mm, eye problems resolved that's another option that we uh, offer the third thing that we would also recommend is that we look at your chart and we know what is the reason which are the planets which are responsible for uh, you to uh, experience this kind of a vision problem and then we would recommend a remedy according to that so we would do japs and shanti for that particular planet now um, apart from this is there anything else like somebody asked me that also like is there all any other option you have so yeah we do have an option where we recommend rudraksh which will really help you get back your vision so it's a slow process now all these things i'm telling you is a very slow process because the next question i get from my clients is how long will it take for me to get back my vision and what exactly is the thing is it going to be like you do the jap and i close my eyes and one fine day i just open it and you have completed your japas and then i have restored my vision back it's it could be that you never know what is the divine will but it could also take time because uh, i is something which uh, takes time to heal and uh, there will be lot of blockages for you to first of all experience eye problems for example uh, all our diseases disorders that we have right today we are suffering from is mainly because we have underlying subconscious belief systems which are very deep rooted in us which could be uh, this lives or previous lives or it could also be genetic uh, inherited from our ancestors a lot of things are happening so or it could just be a situation that happened you know which you don't like to see so you will have to start thinking what are the things that i don't want to see you have shunned yourself from seeing so then uh, automatically you will start getting clarity that that has over a period of time developed into a belief which has led you to do some activities which more could be an accident or which could be such a simple blocking of nerves and optic nerves some complications related to the eye see i'm not a doctor so i would really not know technically what happens so my only thing that i do is you you give me your prayers you you offer your prayers to divinity i just carry it in a thali and give it to the divine mother so and if she gives a prasad that that is something that i pass on to you that's all i do i don't know anything else and uh, the only thing is that the, the tray or the the thali with which i carry your uh, prayer is the thali of belief and trust and immense faith that nothing can happen without divine grace and everything can be achieved with divine grace uh, no matter how skilled you are how talented you are you you are the you are the best you are the best doctor you are the best patient you are the you are the richest person to afford it could be anything anything but if you don't have divine grace you are not going to have your vision back so it's just one thing that you should remember that divine grace is everything and i carry that thali so when you tell me your problem your problem i'll tell you see i have faith you place it uh, on this faith this thali called faith and then i carry it and say oh mother this particular person has this problem please resolve it for him or her you're the only one who can do it and sometimes when these prayers are done we do it either through the priest or when we are offering it to the temple again it's through us to the priest so it's like um 
our involvement is more on the emotional front on the faith front on the dedication and commitment that yeah i really have to uh, make sure that this person's prayers reach the divine mother reach uh, surya bhagwan uh, or make sure that i get the best rudraksh for this client so that he wears it and over a period of time he gets back the vision so i cannot say that uh, for sure Uh, in 40 days people have seen results i can't say that some have taken a smaller amount of time and some have really taken a long time but one thing i can tell you is within 40 days you'll definitely get a doctor who can really help you solve your problem or you even if you are been delaying your surgery or some things which the doctor has advised because you're scared you're not sure and things like that the, the divine mother or surya bhagwan uh will help you really make up your mind in such a way that you will say yeah okay now i need to get my vision back and i whatever i'll do whatever it takes and i will go to the doctor i will get myself treated i'll take the medicines and i know i'll be fine so this kind of a feeling uh, you will get and you'll start moving towards your own progress okay i mean here by progress i mean only good health and to get back your good vision so uh, there have been cases uh, where people have got back uh, even with damaged retina with a hole in the retina because of accident and things like that they have done this chakshush upanishad homa havan jabs regularly and then they've got back their vision and of course they had to go through some surgery and all that like whatever is the medical course we don't interfere with the doctors or the med- medical course of action but what we do is we just complement it and uh, we help you get good results so we make sure that, that the operation becomes successful we pray that uh, your medicine start working in a way that you get back your vision so that is exactly what we do and another thing that i'd like to tell you here is that uh, people with glaucoma also have approached us and we have done pujas for them and has really helped them uh, a lot in their uh, with respect to their vision problems i know a client of mine was uh, just asking for himself but i thought it's a very good opportunity i should talk about it Uh, so that more and more people can uh, reach out to the divine mother if it's through us or directly does it really matter i really hope and pray that you get back your vision those of you who are watching this and who have problems with respect to their eyesight whether it's poor eyesight or some complication i'm so sure that the div- um, nothing is impossible with the divine grace and uh, you just have to approach knock on the doors cut cut and uh, definitely the doors will be open and your eyes will also Uh, open up to divine grace uh, so much so that you can experience the world through your beautiful eyes i wish you all the best and i really pray hard that all of you who are facing problems with respect to the eye will get back your vision very soon i'll be posting the chakshush upanishad uh, mantra or the shloka also below uh, in the description box give me some time because i may not be able to do it immediately i will have to get it uh, typed in uh, sanskrit uh, by some somebody well known in that space because i can't type it i have my own limitations so i will get it done and i will post it so that whether you can book the puja through us or not you can at least uh, chant it on your own and this is going to really help you and uh, your family so uh, just don't worry about how long it's going to take just come on to the path and do it if it has to be done it should be done if you have to pray you pray if you want your vision back you do it and just do it till you get it that's what i mean to say now see for example you engaging us for a puja like that will really depend on your finances but you chanting at home on your own really should not matter right so you have to uh, dedicate at least 10 minutes a day for you to chant it at least once every day so till you get a grip of it then you can chant fast very fast it's not a problem but it's not about chanting fast or chanting slowly it's about chanting with the feeling that yes this mantra is going to help me Uh, resolve all my eye issues issues of my vision uh, i am able to see beautifully everything that's around me and i'm open to seeing everything around me and um, i'm also going to spread the word to others and tell them that who have an eye problem you chant this and you'll be fine you have an eye problem you wear this rudraksh and you'll be fine you have an eye problem you get you pray to mana nena devi and you'll be fine so that kind of a conviction i want you to get the same conviction with which i am speaking because i know right now when i am shooting this video the divine mother is listening to me and she knows that i have immense faith in her and she also knows that you know she can't let me down so uh, i mean it's just not me i know when i interact with the temple the people who we know there they tell us there are so many people from across the globe who reach out to her through prayers 
through these um, eyes, golden eyes or the silver eyes. I also pray and tell Ma, I'll come back to you with a wonderful vision, offer my gratitude to you at that time. So uh, please make this happen for me. And then they do go there once their vision is fine. So let's hope. When we do the prayers on your behalf, we don't get that commitment from you saying, you know, okay, we'll do it, provided you go there. No. So that's why we are offering this uh, silver and gold in advance saying, Mother, please do it for me. Don't think it's a bribe. It's a seva. So sometimes it so happens that you'll have an obligation which is unfulfilled towards her. In some janam, sometime even in this lifetime, maybe, or your ancestors would have said that they will offer Devi silver eyes or golden eyes and that would be pending. So, and you would probably not even know about it. So, then what happens is that how, do, how does she remind you? Because till you fulfill the obligation, you cannot uh, evolve into another life or even in this life, you cannot progress many times. You have an obligation, you better fulfill that. You have to honor your obligations to the divine. So, uh, then how will she remind you? So, she may just give you some small problems in a way just to remind you and nudge you. Come on, you, ha you owe me something. Come on. And then you say, yeah, okay, I think I should do this. And then when you actually do it, and you get better and you get fine, you'll feel good. And then the obligation is complete. So that's how it is. So um, many, many times we don't know at all. In fact, um, I have seen my guru actually um, highlight this aspect to a lot of his devotees and disciples. So when people go to him, he would say things like, ah, I think um, somewhere around 20 years back, you had an obligation. You said to your Kuladevata, you would send... Uh, one gram of gold have you sent it then that person would be like how did you know that this is what I, I had in mind yeah you're right and I completely forgot about it then my guru would say it's never too late do it fulfill it right away when you can afford it when you know about it when you are reminded of it you do it so he did it and he was much better after that so that's how it is we don't know um, and I would also tell you one more thing don't commit on anything like that don't make yourself get into further obligations whatever you can you just do it and be done with it see uh, when you pray in a way that you would say ma please restore my vision and I will give you golden eyes and I know people they forget the moment they get that vision they say huh, why does Devi need eyes why does Devi need gold? Uh, we don't. I don't think it's required. So they would. They'll just forget about it, and then mother knows how to remind. Instead, if you want to give, you really have the intent to serve her. You give her in advance, and say, Mahale, please, um, uh, just you know, fulfill my prayers. Please do it. Please accept it, and then she will do it. And then there's no loss. Okay, what you're giving her is also her gift only. It's because of her blessings only you have it in your hands today, which you're ready to give her. So, if you want to make a commitment in advance, fulfill the commitment and then tell her that this was the commitment. But don't tell in future, I'll do this. Ma, let me see when I get that, I'll do this. Don't do this kind of deals with her. Just have humble, soft prayers where you just go and say, Ma, this is a very small thing that I'm doing. And uh, I'm not doing it. It's only your blessings with which I'm able to do it. And uh, I am what I am because of your blessings. Uh, kindly accept it. And please, uh, with your blessings, with your krupa, with your uh, compassion, karuna, only I can get back my vision. And please bless me. And I know how important it is for a person to be active, to be moving around, to fulfill your normal uh, set of activities vision is extremely important so which is why i'm again praying to the divine mother on behalf of all of you uh, the people who are suffering let them be blessed with the uh, good vision let their visual visions restored back with the divine grace of ma nena devi and surya bhagwan let their vision be restored back and let them not suffer again let their all their obligations to the divine be honored and uh, with a lot of respect and love and surrender, let it be honored by them and let them get the capacity, the ability to do it uh, with a lot of um, bhakti in their heart, okay, and a um, lot of sharanagati in their heart. Let them fulfill all the obligations they have to, towards the divine. Let them get, get their vision back. And let them also pray for others who are suffering so that they also get their vision back. Thank you so much. Namaste.